<laughs> Loading screens can be skipped by inventing a time machine. <laughs> Welcome back to Not For Broadcast. <laughs> I thought we were doing day one again. Uh, I'm gonna put a timestamp on the top because <laughs> broadcast poor. I'm gonna put a timestamp at the top to skip the story section and just go straight to the next one. It's a form, new advanced government asking for information. Well, you use at least the basics, right? Uh, question one. Upon starting a new job, you would be friendly and introduce yourself to your new get productive, ease yourself in, reminisce about friends. Uh, introduce. A colleague in different parts has confidentially been talking about home confidential in a file of minor reports that are missing. Help your colleague cover up, Re recommend that your colleague reports it, promise your colleague will tell them, report the violation, uh, recommend that your colleague reports it. Fire department was fired for consistent on performance, new targets. Leave work early and head to the bar. <laughs> uh, stay on time stay late to ensure you hit your first diff lock deadline. Heard this music isn't copyrighted. It's the annual company, barbecue and your family have been invited. Go if you're free one am I missing you have. I'm practicing kills from you with the talent. Uh, looking forward to a nice day out. Long successful career, about to retire. This achievement's all the good memories you've had. Just honest review. Honest review. Your spare time. That's what likes to love doing listening. Uh, stand up for what you believe in. Encourage and support your children. Play new look school. I like to relax alone. Your idea holiday gateway would be surrounded by nature, exploring somewhere unfamiliar, structured day out in the theme park, romantic getaway, uh, natural beauty. It is most important that the government keeps people... I'd say safe. Thank you for your cooperation, Advance knows your time is valuable and we appreciate you helping leading the nation to the progress the future. Day six, a family matter. It's late, kids have just gone up to bed, dying, you're just drying up a favourite coffee mug, worn up super your first trip together. Sam's Chris, Sam's sibling. I'm so sorry for bursting so late, but I need a favour and you're the only one what should I ask. Are you okay? No, I know I need to worry, Sam. It's you, AKMC. I just need two minutes. You've heard about the... I literally work in news, Chris. <laughs> it's total bullshit. They're taking whatever they want and distributing it as they fit. No government should have that kind of power. Why do I have the feeling that I'm not going to like this? Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to borrow your passport. I can't give you that. <laughs> They've taken mine in half the bloody countries, but people already say that you and I look similar, so... I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, and I need to get out before I freeze my accounts. Okay, it's upstairs in the safe, I don't care. Come up the stairs, careful not to wake Sands, who's cocooned in the duvet. Alex, what's going on? Chris, downstairs, they're leaving... Okay, I'll just tell the truth. What? They're leaving the country if things really are that bad. Calling to us, but I'm not so sure. This must be taking some part. The family's always been close. You know what I would do, but it's not my passport. I can't ask you to give it up. You're right. I'll do it. Family comes first. Good luck. <laughs> family loyalties. Uh, Check password, head to, I don't know, head to bed, hoping you can prize some of the duvet away from Sam while waking them up. Day 8. Alright, now we're going back to the broadcasts. Jeremy Donaldson is the country's most popular and trusted news anchor for now.
The fallout? That does not sound nice. Oh god. <laughs> Is he still on that ferry? <laughs> oh yeah, this one, one, this one, this one. And what does that one do? Oh, that's for the fan. Yeah, I want the fan on. Hell yeah. Should we play this? Is this toy safe? Mr. Snuggle Hugs. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, advanced go getters. Uh, we have to play Alan James again. We have to play it again. Sorry, near the fan. I feel like that Snuggle Hugs advert is going to bite me in the arse. Oh, they're talking about him now. <laughs> is this challenge you think dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. What? What's the best source of consumer advice then? Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, <laughs> three. Now. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Dawson. There's no time on this one. headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask uh, exactly who's leading this charge. I think Circle will Tonight, make him look I'm better. Or B. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, let's mess that up. Well back on the brink of raising living standards with the vast majority of the country. I'll be asking my guess if we're on the way to a new future. Out with okay. Both, Remington Spitz have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following okay, photos well. taken from our archive. Gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who at the tender. Alright, let's do X. Okay. Okay, look, not mess around. Not mess around. Actually do something good. Sophia Rillington has always impressed. She was top of her class at university and graduated with the highest honors. Immediately being asked. Alright, show off. The markets have responded favorably to Sophia's appointment, with stocks rising 30 points. But but in her first press conference this afternoon. Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. <laughs> Sophia promises it'll be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist a splash. Dr. David Wong, a marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg... Uh, X makes them looks better. ...today set off to explore Dante's taint. Wait, was that Smorgaform or Smorgasmorgad? Or something, I don't remember. But thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern. Honestly, I want to be a marine biologist, but I'm way too dumb. This is, of course, only the latest in a series of successful expeditions for this unlikely pairing. In a joint statement about the dangers their team might face, the pair stated, We will face the plentiful challenges together. Fuck, shit. Oh, fuck, why'd I. Playing the field? Rumors about. Why, I bent up. Johnny Ham's leaves is snapped, leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly didn't want to be his dry cleaner. I meant to press R2 to with mess with the thing. New oh? Plan, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live uh, around the country. X makes the public think better. I held L2 by mistake. No. Less and less oversight. Are we using an advanced? Right, stop messing with the buttons. Actually, focus now. All that a mega move for the group of young actors already experiencing the positive side of the new assets and wealth act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's Three, national nightly news. One. Yes! 
Oh, uh, R2, R2. Okay, okay. Of course, maintenance has to happen, um, okay. Can we go back to normal, please? Oh, God. In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about right. the party's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of... There he Alan is! James Alan James! Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I Ooh. think that Vance have realised that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next Shit. steps in the grand plan. <laughs> grand plan, Alan. It's all in no, I keep... Alan James is right. <laughs> We've become the great herd. Ignorant, sterile, and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps advanced have just realized that if we... No, I keep pressing the wrong... We will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is... Shamelessly self-promoting. No. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since okay, the okay. last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't... And this I... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your... That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! But what this young oh, lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is yes, okay, the same that. people. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilise, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into a Twitter bondage. They're like psychic paedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are you doing? The Assets and Wealth Act is only... All right, square is Donaldson, remember that. ...have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un... They're already funneling unprecedented oh. amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, <laughs> Frankenscience and Opie Arts. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue! It's all coming from the water, the chemicals, they're pumping it... Turning the frogs the gay! Don't get me wrong, I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. If advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, uh, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave fuck, new fuck. world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Yep. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. There, okay. I got a trophy called Consequences. Oh no. Shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. Well, we'll see who's full of shit, won't we? Alan, I can explain it to you, but unfortunately, I can't understand it. With a state of the art human like voice to keep them company when you can't. I don't know what she meant by that. And his incredible real action act. <laughs> I love this 
saying I didn't Oh, the phone cut off. She's good. You know she is. I've said I've got a word in. That's all I can do. Ten seconds, everybody. Okay. If that sticks, I'll just stay. Four, three, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, <laughs> In our second segment, oh, who's this we're going guy? to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advance of a oh, shit. what they are calling a solutions team. To move okay. To serious social oh, no, no, shit, 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 shit. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to make the people who live... Oh, fuck, fuck, no, how do, you, how do you move it up? 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 How do you move it up again? I forgot. <laughs> so fucked, look. How do you do it? How do you get it up? How do you move it up? law order in our country. Advance of a really task what they are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to make the people who How do, how do we move it up? Every day oh, 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 First oh, 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 okay, oh, you don't hold R2? How was I meant to know that? Can you hear me, mm -hmm. Oh, here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's oh, shit. On the front line the hard face of the cold I need to be careful, they could do interference any well, second again. Can imagine, Jeremy, we are I'm getting my L2 button as well ready. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desk. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with the money. Oh god, who's this? There just simply isn't enough oh, shit. done at a systemic level to relieve no. the problems. We need more support from ministers. What are you doing? We need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. <laughs> He's getting broken up with during live TV. Just hang on. Just hang on. No, the problem isn't a local one. Whoa, whoa. No, no, get up. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. <laughs> the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Oh. Uh, we need legislation to relieve <laughs> the pressure on our public service. Sorry to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving? Have a to yes, I totally understand. Yes. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Every judge. Oh, you look at me! Next time, okay. Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different perspective. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's losing it. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? Oh, I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I am sure we all. Oh, all come on! If I had to go to one more interference. Looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife uh, or cough. So you feel the streets oh. simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong? London. Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. No, 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 no. So, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have... Oh, okay. I don't like interference. Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Oh. Jeremy, your bloody gimps escaped. <laughs> Delia, the what's escaped? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Uh, as I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, he gave us the immigrants who are responsible for the moral yes. decay. Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh. in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. No, no, no. Shit, shit. Fuck, fuck. Who's responsible to use it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people. Okay. Where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 not having this again. Mummy's head, get back in your guts, with Naughty, you beast! What are you saying, Jeremy? Moral decay. 
crime is the responsibility of the criminal, no one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. We're locking down the police's position. Why does she have a whip? Hopefully uninterrupted. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swap. Jesus. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Oh. Many happy returns, Tony. Many happy Cheers, returns, Jez. Tony. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to I feel like I'm going to be censoring a lot here. Like in prison, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, come on! Quite nice, but... It's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. I have input I delay. I have to do it early. Quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise Bob! party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're going to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony! Hey! I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. Open. Yeah, I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, right. have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris, oi, oi. little Chris, oi, oi. and Vampire Chris. <laughs> <laughs> vampire Chris. This one's, yeah? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> He's going to strip. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. It's just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. Open! So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? <laughs> you are joking. Chrissy Freebollock has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It seems... It seems like we've caught you at a bad time. <laughs> Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal. No. no. Aww. Just trying to get that signal back. Aww. I think we. Yes. Lucky young thespians, don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. Open on Megan camera too. Okay, thank you. Welcome's Black. I'm Megan Wolf. What? And on tonight's culture spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant oh. from the plants to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> Only joking. Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she is he autistic? I think he is autistic. Fortunately, 
I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. Jeff maths Algebra. Really oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. Made. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. <laughs> Why does she look like she's going to cry? <laughs> and they touch us right back. I suppose with a certain what? like algebra, there was really only one choice of career. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that Angela sentence a bit better. We often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela algebra. Yes. <laughs> we just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? That's right. To put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah, because in a way she's like all of us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's what? you, maybe. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> I think she wants him to leave, or them to leave. So, Jeff, when did you first hear okay, about so. uh, Two days ago. A letter from advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank. It's a triangle and X. retreated from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. <laughs> and they rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We, we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course and she's a paraplegic mainly but we did used to watch that peter clements diy show back in the day uh, peter so clements owned a diy let's show let's have a go with this old democracy thing okay and here we bally well are <laughs> Good stuff. brilliant so, oh shit shit why are you swearing you're a math teacher oh no dear diary I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. <laughs> another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. Tears. But still I walk the corridors alone. But still I walk the alone. alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. <laughs> What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. Oh heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! <laughs> Going somewhere, little first year. Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. And so important. And so important. Uh, maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going, for fuck's sake. Right. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, maths is for losers. Now, <laughs> give me your lunch money. <laughs> Double lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? I'm only truly happy not today, Gary the Fist. Not today. Wow. What do you mean not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free, coach. Brilliant, keep going. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I, Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. <laughs> you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. <laughs> Oh god, what's this? Take a look at me Take a little look at my face Okay Trophy Ant, feel the music I could be you She could be you And you could be me Or you could be me Cheeky. If you work as 
Because it's him. Oh, what's going on with my bar at the top now? What's going on on screen free? time for tonight on the <laughs> join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country my name is jeremy donaldson have a peaceful night yes oh, that was brilliant. what the literal fuck was that <laughs> that was art i believe i've got a 14 inch cock but it doesn't make it so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those first two I did pretty bad, especially that second one. Up, how do you move it up? How do you move it up? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, everyone hates me. Nice. Alright, that's still the same. Oh. <laughs> now, this is normally where I would end the episode, but I just... Well, last episode, we ended it off by looking at some clips. I think we have to see what happens to Titwank Tony. <laughs> I love this. Oh, hey. Oh, it's over. Oh, I wanted more. Alright, <laughs> yeah, so Titlank Tony is now my favourite character. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I did pretty bad today. I messed up really bad on that second one. But, anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Not for Broadcast.